When an employee from the department asked where Kimura was, Finley said she was in Detroit with Simon But Simon provided a conflicting story about Kimura, raising red flags Relatives then revealed that they had not seen Kimura in more than a year and Simon's girlfriend of eight months said she had never even met his daughter Both Finley and Simon read apologies during their sentencing on Wednesday. I can't tell how you much I miss Kimura, Finley wrote. I can't tell you how sorry I am. I realize I have to be punished. I know that, no matter how much time I do, it's not going to bring my daughter back. Neither Cot was not impressed with Finley's letter and said she tried to shift some of the blame to Simon. You could have stopped what happened, he said. Then I find out you had the audacity to collect welfare for more than a year after this child's death. What a fraud on this town. Simon asked for forgiveness in his letter, adding, I want to apologize to everyone that this situation affected. Neither had called Simon's participation in the murder selfish and cruel and sad. Both Finley and Simon will be eligible for parole in 15 years or less. Kimura's two brothers are now living with a foster family that plans to permanently adopt them.